Welcome to Martin's Institute of Teaching. This video is on how to factor a polynomial of third degree. So we're going to be working with x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8. So first thing you want to do when you're working with these is you want to find a factor of the 8. Well, actually, if you can factor just by looking at it, then that's the first thing you want to do. But if you can't do that, then an easy way to do this is by using synthetic division, and that helps you uh, make it a lot easier to factor it out. So first thing is I'm going to look at factors of 8. So, oops, factors. Sorry, so factors of 8. So you get 1, 2, 4, and 8. And of course it's plus or minus. So we're going to start off with plus 1 because it's the first one I see there. So if I used 1, then I'm going to go ahead and grab the coefficients off of the values over here. So, And you're going to get a coefficient for every x value. So if, for instance, if we didn't have x squared here, you would still pretend that there is a, a 0 coefficient in front of the x squared. So here it's um, the coefficient of x cubed is 1, and it's negative 5, 2, and 8. And we're going to first, we're going to bring down the 1. And we're going to say 1 times 1 is 1. Then we're going to add these. So negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. 2 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 2. 1 times negative 2 is just negative 2. So that goes there. And now 8 plus negative 2 is going to give you 6. So this is not equal to 0, so we cannot use x equal 1. So x equals 1 is no good. So let's go ahead and now let's try our next value. So after that we would use uh, negative 1. So let me, just, let me just go clean this off. Okay, so now we're going to try negative 1. So when we start off, it's just you, whatever this first uh, value is, you just bring it down. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6. Oh, excuse me. So uh, negative 1 times negative 6 is going to give you a positive 6. And now 2 plus 6 is 8. And now we're going to do negative 1 times 8 is going to give us a negative 8. 8 plus negative 8 is 0, and that checks out. So x equals to negative 1 works, and we can use this. So now, now what we're going to do is we're going to use these coefficients. <clears throat> and this is going to be our new function. So, of course, x minus, well, x minus 1 is just going to be x plus 1. And then we're going to have this 8 is going to be our constant, and then it's just going to go up in for the factors of the x. So this is going to be x squared. This is going to be negative 6x. And since this is a constant, it's just going to be plus 8. So now, at, at this point, uh, we can go ahead and either do synthetic division again on this, or we can factor it. Now at this point, looking at it, now at this point, it's, it's not so bad to factor. So I'm just going to go ahead at this point and just factor it because I see that I have a negative 6 and an 8 here. So I know that I can do x plus 1 and then I can do x minus 2 and x minus 4. So x times x is going to give me the x squared. The negative 2 times x is going to be negative 2 and then negative x times x plus the negative 2x is going to give me the negative 6x. And then just negative 2 times negative 4 is going to give you the 8. So we have gone ahead and factored this out. And now after at this point, now we can actually make sure that this actually works. And it actually gives us uh, the x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8. So let's go ahead and check that out. So we can start off anywhere. So I guess I'm just going to start off with x plus 1 and the x minus 2. So if I do that, I would get x squared minus 2x 
And I'm going to do the next one, plus x, and then it's going to be minus 2. Now I'm just going to combine these. So this is going to come uh, condense down to x squared minus x minus 2. Uh, now that's going to get multiplied by x minus 4. So multiplying the, the x into all of this, I'm going to get x cubed minus x squared minus 2x. <clears throat> Next I'm going to multiply the negative 4 in. So negative 4 times x squared is going to be negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times x is going to be uh, plus 4x. Negative 4 times negative 2 is going to give us negative 8. So now I just add them up. So x cubed, it's going to just drop down. Oops. That's just going to be x cubed. Next is negative x squared plus negative 4x. That'll just be negative 5x squared. This is going to be um, 2x plus 2x minus 8. Okay, whoops, made a minor mistake here. This is not, uh, when we do negative 2, maybe you guys caught this mistake already, but when we did the negative 2 times the negative 4, that should be plus 8. And so this one here also becomes plus 8. So negative 4 times negative 2 is plus 8. I kind of goofed up there. Whoops, sorry. But now if we check this x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8. Now if we looked over here, it checks out. And we get the x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x plus 8. And that's how you do this problem. So, all right. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck in your guys' classes. And uh, if you liked the video, uh, please click like. And don't forget to subscribe. So, see you guys later.